Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Josh Does Coding. In today's video, we are going to be starting a brand new series where we create a wave-based survival from scratch using Unreal Engine. Today, I'm just going to be giving a brief intro to the project, going over what we will be doing, and also just making some basic organizational changes. So, for starters, what you're looking at right now is just the basic third-person template that comes with Unreal Engine. I've just created it. I haven't touched anything yet, so feel free to also create a third-person template if you want to follow along. So if we come to our content browser, we'll start with four folders, a characters folder, a level prototyping folder, starter content, unless you turned off starter content, and then our third-person folder. The third person folder is where you're actually going to have the blueprints and you know your input setup for the character. So if we just hit play, this character right here, all this logic is contained in this third person folder with these other two folders basically just being meshes and materials and whatnot. So for organizational purposes, what we're going to do is we're going to rename this third person folder to game, you're going to get a message saying you might need to replace um, some source code. You can just hit OK. You're going to get this new games folder, but you'll notice this third person folder is still here. However, if you actually open it, it's going to be completely empty. So we can just delete this third person folder. Cool. We can then right click on game and we can update redirector references. So the reason we did this is that it's generally best practice in game development to have a single folder named game. And inside of this is where we'll have all of our own code for our project. Now it doesn't have to be named game specifically. I mean, you could name this, you know, the name of your game, whatever you want but you should have a single folder where everything is contained. And generally speaking, the calling your top folder third person, it just isn't a good naming convention. And I want to make this game following best, you know, conventions, coding practices in Unreal Engine. So that's why we made this change. Now, what we're going to do is open up this blueprints folder and we will have this third person character. We can open this up and just take a look at what comes with the template. You have your input mapping. This is just how you set up your character to be able to use your inputs that are created in IMC underscore default. Then we have our camera input. This just allows you to look around by moving your mouse. We have our movement input. This of course is what allows you to move around. And we have our jump input. And this is of course what allows you to jump. Now, the one thing we're going to change is if you come to this add mapping context node right at the very top, there you'll see the mapping context is set to IMC default. Now, if we open this, we'll have this mappings dropdown, which has another mappings dropdown in it. And this is where we can actually see our inputs. So we're going to be making this specifically for keyboard and, keyboard and mouse for now and maybe worry about other inputs in the future. So just to clean this up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this gamepad input for jump, and we're also gonna get rid of this touch input. Then for move, we're gonna get rid of the gamepad. And the up, down, right, left is the arrow keys. So if you want the player to move around with your arrow keys, you can leave this as is. If you want them to have to use W, A, S, D, you can get rid of these. That is completely up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and leave them. And for IA look, we're once again going to get rid of this gamepad input. So now we just have mouse and keyboard inputs. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is take this one step further in terms of organization. So in this blueprints folder, we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it player and we just move this third person player into this folder 
and we'll create a new folder. We'll call it core and we'll move our game mode into this core folder. So we now have a folder for our game, which contains a maps folder, which also contains our input folder, which contains an action folder. And now we have our blueprints folder, which now has core, which will contain our game mode and you know our game instance in the future if we make one. And we have a player where all player related blueprints will go. So that's going to be it for today's intro. In the next video, we are going to be setting up the player to actually be able to attack and have health. So if you do want to follow along with this series, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below on ways you think I can improve these videos. And with that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and good luck with your games.